Hi Aries, welcome to your general uh, reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Aries, we are going to take a look at whatever energy is around you at this time. This is a general collective reading, so it could be love, it could be general, work, prayer, finance, whatever comes out here, we're just going to take it as it comes. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It's not a private reading. It's a general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Take only the parts that resonate. Could be past, present, or future. If it's not resonating, it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. And let's see what we have for you, Aries. And everything you need to know, Aries, is down below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there. So please do go check it out. And if this doesn't resonate, this doesn't resonate for you, um, links are below to your playlist. You can go back, watch uh, past readings, or watch other signs in your chart. So for Aries. And if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four to five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. All right, so this is Zodiac Oracle. So we get sign, element, or planet. See how that affects you in your reading. And then with this deck here, we will get an opening message, and then I'll pull another for your energy, go over the bottom of the deck, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then look at your situation, advice, possible outcome, whatever your situation may be. All right, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have one for Aries, Sign, Element, or Planet Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One card for Aries. Let's take that one. Let's see what we have. Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus in some way, shape, or form. Could be anybody, someone rising Venus, Jupiter, or somewhere in the chart. You could have Taurus in your chart, however that plays out for you. Taurus does represent the um, Hierophant in the tarot, which does represent marriage, commitments, um, doing what's moral, just, and right, faith, spirituality, religion, um, institutional things such as education, government, law, you know, um, all that kind of energy. It could also be about higher learning um, also. So we'll see how that plays out into your reading. All right. So this deck here, let's get an opening message for you. Let's get an opening message for Aries, for the Journal Collective, Someone Rising Venus, male or female. It's not a private reading. It's a Journal Collective reading. For Aries spirit, please. All right, that's my sign to stop shuffling. Okay, wow. That was three. I just want one message for Aries. What is the most important open message for Aries collective watching? What do they need to know right now? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Just one. Wow, opening message. <laughs> I just want one. All right, let's take that one. Oh, cards are in reverse. No, well, we have the elephant, which is 11. And 11 is about being on the right path, whether it's spiritual. And we do have, even though it says elephant, I think that's Ganesha, I think that is. Um, so elephants are very um, smart. They're wise. They're very family orientated. Uh, they never forget either. They have a great memory. It's about protection also. And this is earth energy. So it's 11, and, and that's about being on the right path, whatever your path may be. But you add together two, and that's about unities and partnerships. So I'm just going to read. I pretty much know what that means, but I don't use this deck often enough to remember the cards. But uh, I just want to read a little snippet on um, elephant. Memory removing obstacles in intelligence. So, hmm. so we'll see how that plays into your reading. It's kind of a nice energy. So it could have, have to do here with some uh, something maybe with your family, maybe removing obstacles. Um, so we'll see here. All right, you know, and family is family, and whether I mean some people cut ties to family members if they feel like they have to. But you still have that bond. You still have that connection, even though you may ne never talk to them again. Uh, as with Taurus is like that spiritual kind of energy. 
So you still have that connective tie, whether or not you still talk to them or not, sort of in a way. All right, so, and you can do cord cutting and completely sever ties and cords, probably from family members, uh, anybody. That is possible also. But let's see what's going on here. Taurus, uh, Taurus. So yeah, definitely could be dealing with the Taurus. And I just noticed here, Aries, you one, Taurus is two. One, two. Interesting. All right, so, and the elephant is 11, which equals two. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get your opening energy. What's going on? So we have the scorpion energy, which is fire. So now we have XL, 20, uh, 30? No, <laughs> XL, what does L stand for? X is 10, 30, right? So, yeah, 30. Vengeance, the unexpected, harsh, enlightenment, intensity, karma. Wow. And, you know, the Scorpio here, Scorpion here can sting, and be venomous. Ooh, so that's not a good energy. So there could be somebody in your family here uh, that <laughs> makes you uh, feel in this energy or um, you make them feel that way. I don't know. So there's not a good energy here. I think maybe between you and a family member. And we have Raven at the bottom. And I just had just gotten this for, um, I think it was Leo. So we have Raven here, which is air energy which is 31, which is four. Four is usually about stability. So with the raven here, I mean, that is about somebody that's not a good energy either. Somebody who um, could be a narcissist or uh, could lie, deceive, uh, wear a false mask there, they put the mask there, uh, tell lies because you see the messenger there, but they're wearing a mask. So it's kind of like dark energy also. So I feel like, Maybe you finally, you know, have, you know, <laughs> oh, how can I say this? Maybe you finally become wise about a family member for some reason or somebody that's like family. Um, finally look wised up about their energy. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you, Aries. Aries. This could have been some secrets that came out too about a family member that came to light, which uh, caused some like harsh energy here. Maybe caused you to bite, <laughs> bite back or something. All right, so let's see. As long, you know, as much as maybe you were committed uh, to them, you know, as, as either family or whatever here, whatever have you. something happened here which caused all this harsh energy so let's see what's going on with you Aries what is all this energy about for Aries 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 what so we have the six of Pentacles energy which is about equal give and take reciprocity balance now we do have the king of wands energy which could be Sagittarius but that could be your energy it could be Leo Sag or Aries so I feel like what you once thought was a very balanced, maybe family or whatever here. Um, I don't know. Something came to light. Something came to light about something. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Four Aries. Yeah. And I said that they ate some wands. I mean, I don't know. Let's get more before I read into this. I mean, the ace of wands can be... Now we have the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So this person could have been, you know, Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, collaboration, or working together. Could have been someone you worked with that was like family. Um, maybe they had this big, bright idea. <laughs> this big, bright idea that they were showing you. See, they're showing the Pentacle and, you know, and explaining this, like, new business adventure, new... Um, big spark idea, creative idea, or something, being very excited about it. 
seemed like the coming off very stable and grounded. They knew what they were talking about. They seemed very wise. But yet, I feel like there was there were ill intentions behind it. So, left you in, I don't know, defensive energy here. Being on guard and defensive towards this person. All right, so what else here? And I can see you like, oh, well, that seems like a good idea. It seems balanced. It seems fair and just. And, you know, this person seems wise. They know what they're talking about. It all made sense. Yeah, they they really wanted to manifest this. Like, they had, they came off as having, like, all the tools, the resources to make this happen. But you see, you know, they're wearing all this garb and they look like, you know, they know what they're doing, but then you see the land in the back is kind of barren and dry, and uh, there's a snake down there. So, yeah. So I don't know if they were just like after money or something like that, but I think I'm getting like false pretense. That's what I'm getting, especially with the raven here and the Scorpio, a Scorpion energy. They could have been a Scorpio. Somehow you got the bird here for news. So somebody, somebody blew the whistle on them to you and blew this whole thing apart. To shed light on the situation here. All right. But they seem like, you know, the elephant, they seem wise. You know, they knew what they were talking about and they got the magician there. Oh, they got all the tools, the resources. They know exactly what they're doing. You know, they explained it in a way where, you know, <laughs> It seemed legit. All right, what else? What's the situation here? The high priestess. They had secrets, though. They had a secret agenda. Because <laughs> you see, this person is like all in dark. So, you know, the high priestess here is about gut intuition, higher knowing, but it can be about secrets. So this person has secrets. They had a secret agenda. That they planned out carefully, I feel. Nine of Cups, so very indulgent energy. Can be about happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. I, I think they led you to believe this was like, a, oh, this would be like a wish, a dream come true kind of energy. But they were only after indulging in their, you know, for them, indulgence for them, like only filling their own cup out of your cup, basically. Secret agenda. You see the moon back there again with secrets. All right, so let's see what else here. Eight of Wands, you didn't see it. You didn't see it coming. You had no clue at that time that they were, you know, telling you this. They were uh, offering this to you or um, showing this plan or whatever it was, you know. You were totally blind to the fire in the background. You had no, no, and Scorpio fire. I mean, you had no idea. You've never seen it coming. Two of Swords. So, you know, having to think about it, you know, you're like, well, it seems legit. It seems like a plan. It seems like a good idea. It would be something that would be like a wish fulfillment for me, but yet there was secrets you didn't know about and something you didn't see coming, that this was just a false pretense. Yeah, and this was just something, uh, I don't know if it was like a business plan or a creative idea. Or something where it's like, oh, you know, I got the money to back this. I got backers. I got this. I got that. And we can make this happen. What else here for Aries? Nine of Wands. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, here's the wolf back here. So, yeah, they had. Uh, they had something up their sleeve. They, you know, they didn't tell you everything here, but nine of wands here. So now you're in the, you're in the energy and now you have to protect yourself from this person or their energy. Some, some sneaking up kind of energy, sneaky, sneaky kind of energy here. They were being sneaky, secretive. They had a secret agenda you didn't see coming Tell somebody enlightened you because that's why we have the nine, nine of wands here so now you're like okay now i gotta defend myself all right so 
Let's see. So it could have been, I don't know who enlightened. Somebody enlightened here. Could have been a fellow co-worker, friend, family member. Let's see. How do we get enlightened? How do we get enlightened to this? Yeah, heartache. So heartache, pain. So this caused you a lot of heartache and pain, strife. Ace of Cups. So that's a big enlightenment right there. Big giant enlightenment about this. So, let's see, what else, the sun, more enlightenment, holy crap, big time enlightenment with the ace of cups and the sun, this enlightenment caused you a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of pain, you could have even walked away from your job thinking, you know, uh, this was a golden opportunity, but it was all based on lies. Five of Cups, yeah. Sadness, remorse, regret. Page of Swords. There's an open, honest, truthful communication, doing research, um, spying. Somebody, look at that big sword. Somebody really shed clarity on this. And that's all about truth and clarity, spying. Maybe somebody was spying on this person and they told you, yeah, because here's that offer again that they were trying to give you there, but it's just a page. It's not a king. So it wasn't based on uh, anything actual. It was just a page. They probably only had one little itty bitty coin in their pocket, which was right there <laughs> thinking, you know, and you're thinking they had, you know, the whole bank in their pocket and they had that little bitty coin. Or whatever the situation was here. Wow. So somebody was spying on them or knew the facts and they shed light, they told you. Or maybe you decided to do your own investigation and found out it was just a crock here. All right. So let's see advice or guidance for you, Aries. Ten of Swords. Yeah. Painful, hurtful ending. You might have terminated your friendship. Seven of Swords. Yeah, lies, deceit. Four of Wands. So this is about, you know, stability, your home life, and the Fool. So your advice is here, although <laughs> you thought... I mean, if you're going through this now and, and you have doubts and you're like, yeah, I don't know. It seems too good to be true. I mean, whatever, whatever kind of proposition this is, if you're going through it now, but yet you have doubts, like, geez, I just don't know. It doesn't make sense that they could do this, even though they seem like they're legit. Do your research because something is not legit here because you may want to take this leap because you think it'll bring you to this total joy stability here. But we have a sneaky energy here with the Seven of Swords, someone who's lying, deceitful. And then things crashing down here with the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, painful, hurtful ending here. So don't get caught up in lies and deceit and then everything comes crumbling down with the Ten of Swords. You know, some of you may not ha have taken this leap yet because only one foot is off the ledge. You know, remain stable here because I don't think this is legit. Because we do have the moon back here, which down here, which can talk about secrets. So oh, let's see. Let's see if other signs we have. Leo, we have Aquarius, um, Pisces, uh, Gemini, Virgo. We have a King of Wands up there, which is Sagittarius. It could be any sign. So let's see what your possible outcome could be of the situation for you, Aries, the Hierophant. So this is doing what's moral, just, and right. Commitments, um, learning, higher learning, King of Pentacles energy here, which can be um, Virgo. And the King of Swords. Wow. So you may have to get legal advice or even legal representation. That makes sense for some of you. This is Gemini. You could get business advice, financial advisor. 
on the situation. But we do have the Hierophant here. So this is that higher knowing, that higher, you know, well, let's clarify the Hierophant because I can talk about marriage, commitment, higher uh, knowing, higher source, higher learning. Um, so what is the Hierophant here for? Two of Wands. So being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision. Now we got the Queen of Pentacles. And the Justice. Wow. So <laughs> if this turned into something where you lost money or you were taken for granted or you lost out or you're invested in something and now it's like, okay, now I have to do something. I have to take action. I think this is telling you to remain stable and stay committed to this journey that if you feel like you need to get advice, guidance, legal representation, or take this to the next level, justice is here to tell you um, to do so. Because now we even have the Queen of Pentacles, which can be um, Capricorn, Libra. But I feel like you're at a crossroads. Like, do I just let this go or do I pursue this further? And I think you probably should uh, do what you feel like you need to do here, especially with justice. Wow. Somebody was really taken for granted. They were blindsided. Um, something here. Wow. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, like drop it on the floor. <laughs> uh, so now we even have the Queen of Cups. So now we got Water Energy, which is Cancer. And the emperor so yeah taking charge of the situation um it could have been someone you loved dearly or loved like you know a friend a family member here but now emperor you know i uh, could have been about being in this emperor position um or taking control of the situation that's aries that's your energy but now virgo needing to think about it deeply here with the hermit energy what do i do now but now finally knowing what you need to do and taking action here with the Eight of Wands. Could be traveling. Stress and worried about it though with the Nine of Swords. But moving forward uh, with resilience, having peace and calm, and knowing exactly what you want to do, what you need to do. Again, Four of Cups, you no, know, kind of thinking about it here for a time. And quite not quite sure again what you should do. But now here's the Queen of Swords again telling you a truth and clarity, divine intervention, divine clarity. Um, this could be Libra again, as with the justice energy, to shed truth and light that somebody was being sneaky and deceitful here. Whatever they were doing, they were not, uh, was not copacetic at all. They had ill intentions. And if you feel like you have to take this to an authoritative measure or something like that. I think this is telling you to do exactly what you feel like you need to do, Aries. All right, so let's get some closing messages for you, Aries, in this situation. I feel like you were taken for granted or you were um, propositioned uh, in some way, shape, or form, like a business proposition that was ill-fated. You know, it wasn't even, it was like a bogus, something bogus that Unfortunately, you kind of fell for, and you made a lot, many have lost a lot in this, in some way, shape, or form. All right, so let's see, Aries, Aries. If it's not you, it could be someone you know going through this. Keep that in mind. See, you're not afraid. Ten about endings and then new beginnings. Don't be afraid to do, to face the big guy. As little as you feel, don't be afraid to face the big guy. You're not alone. Okay, what else here? So we do have turn back, which is six. It's about healing and balance. So I think sometimes you feel confused, like you're in a maze. It's like a daze. And you're like, okay, so maybe I should just, you know, forget about this whole thing and turn around and go back. All right, let's see if there's one more. Reclaim your art. So this is reclaiming what's rightfully yours. I'm getting, you know, don't turn back because now we got six, seven. So 
So seven is a divinely guided spiritual number, healing and balance with the six. And I can't make this up. Seek an expert on the bottom. Wow. 52, seven again. So divinely guided spiritual energy. If you need to seek help, advice, guidance, legal, whatever, I think that's what you need to do, Aries. Wow. Okay, Aries, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.